हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माई चैनल इंजीनियर अकेडमी डू हिट दिस सब्सक्राइब बटन इफ यू हैवन डन इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम विच से इज दैट द वीच ई ग्राफ फॉर अ पार्टिकल मूविंग थ्रू एन इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड फ्राम वन प्लेट टू अनदर हेज द शेप शोन इन द फिगर वेयर टी डेज इक्वल्स टू पॉइंट टू एंड वी मैक्स इक्वल्स टू टेन मीटर पर सेकेंड ड्रा द एस टी एंड ए टी ग्राफ फॉर द पार्टिकल When t equals to t dash divided by two, the particle is at s equals to zero point five meters. Now, v max is given. This is v max. This is ten meter per second. T dash is given. T dash is zero point two. So this is zero point two. So t dash divided by two is zero point two divided by two. So that will be equal to zero point one. So now at t dash divided by two, the distance travelled is zero point five meters. Now we have to find, we have to draw the s of t and a of t graph. So we need to have the s of t and acceleration as a function of time equations for the two intervals, right? So we have two intervals that is from t equals to zero until point one seconds, and then from point one to point two seconds, right? So for t greater than equal to 0 and less than equal to 0.1 seconds we have this straight line the velocity is varying uh, like a straight line right so we let's say that we have some point some arbitrary point somewhere here so this point is at some t we have v value so now the slope of this line can be determined by using this triangle and similarly that same slope can be determined by using this triangle and both the slopes will be equal since we have this only one straight line so now we can write that the slope for the small triangle this small triangle will be the rise this is the rise so the rise is v minus 0 so i will write v minus 0 divided by the run this is the run so run is t minus 0 So divided by t minus zero, and now the slope for this large triangle is the rise. So rise is ten minus zero. So this is the rise. So we will write ten minus zero, and divided by the run. So this is the run now. So this is zero point one minus zero. So this is zero point one minus zero. So this is from this we can write the ten minus zero is ten divided by zero point one. And v minus zero is v, and t minus zero is t. So now this ten divided by zero point one this gives us hundred. This is hundred. So from this we can write that v divided by t is equal to hundred, or we can write that v is equal to hundred t. So this straight line is represented by the equation v equals to hundred t. So now. from this we can find the acceleration so acceleration will be equal to dv by dt and we can write that d by dt and v is 100t now the derivative of this will give us 100 and this will be meter per second square so from t equals to 0 until 0.1 seconds the acceleration is constant that is 100 meter per second square now we can plot it here this will be this is this one box is 50 so this is 100 and 100 right so the acceleration remains constant for 0.1 seconds so this is 100 similarly since we want to draw the s of t graph so we need to have s as a function of time so now using this equation we can write that ds by dt is equal to 100t and from this we can write that ds is 100t dt and now we have to integrate this so now the integration will be from 0 to t and similarly the integration for for the left hand side will be from 0 to s and now if we integrate this left hand side so we will have s from 0 to s and 100 is constant the integration of this will be 100 t square divided by 2 and this is from 0 to t now now we have to put these limits so if we put these limits we will have s minus 0 and 100 divided by 2 this is 50 so this is 50 t square and now if we put these limits so this will be 50 t square minus 0 and from this we can write that s of t is equal to 50 t square so it's a quadratic equation 
and we know that at t equals to 0 0.1 seconds that is the t dash divided by 2 point 0.2 divided by 2 gives us 0 0.1 second the distance traveled is 0 0.5 meters this is given in the problem statement when t is equal to t dash divided by 2 the particle is at 0 0.5 meters and we can verify this if i put uh, t equals to 0 0.1 in this equation so we will have s equals to 0 0.5 meters so now uh, since this s of t for this interval is quadratic equation and the coefficient of t square is plus that is positive so the graph of uh, s of t for this interval need to have the shape like this it need to be concave in the upward direction so now at at t equals to 0 0.1 second the value is 0 0.5 so we have this point here and then the graph will look like this so we will have a quadratic curve like this now for the second interval when t is when t is greater than equal to 0 0.1 and less than equal to 0 0.2 seconds again we have this straight line but now the slope is negative so now again we need to assume a point or we need to take an arbitrary point on this particular line let's say let's say that this is at some t again we have some value of v so now again find the slope for for this small triangle and then this large triangle and compare those slopes since these are the slopes of one straight line so now again i can write that the slope is equal to rise so now this is the rise this is again v minus zero so v minus zero and the run this is the run so the run is 0 0.2 minus t right so 0 0.2 minus t and this will be equal to again the rise of the large triangle so the rise is this uh, 10 minus 0 v max is 10 so 10 minus 0 divided by the run again this is the run so this is 0.2 minus 0 0.1 so that is 0 0.1 so 0 0.2 minus 0 0.1 so this gives us v divided by 0 0.2 minus t equals to 10 minus 0 is 10 and 0 0.2 minus 0 0.1 is 0 0.1 and 10 divided by 0 0.1 gives us 100 so this is 100 and now if i cross multiply if i multiply this on the other side so we will have v equals to 100 into 0 0.2 minus t so if i write this term first so this will be minus 100 t and 0 0.2 into 100 will give us 20 100 into 0 0.2 this gives us 20 so this is plus 20 so this is the velocity as a function of time for the second interval that is from 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 seconds now we know the equation of this straight line right it has a negative slope of minus 100 and its y intercept is at plus 20. now again we have to find the acceleration for the second interval now the acceleration will be equal to dv by dt now take the derivative of this so the derivative of this is minus 100 so from point 0.1 to point 0.2 the acceleration uh, shifts to minus 100 so minus 100 will be somewhere here let's say and then until point 0.2 it remains to be minus 100 and then it becomes 0 when the velocity becomes 0 so this is acceleration as a function of time graph and now we know that velocity is ds by dt and this is equal to minus 100 t plus 20 multiply both side by dt so we will have ds equals to minus 100 t plus 20 dt and now let's integrate both side of the equation and now the integration will be from 0 0.1 to t since this interval is from 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 and now at t equals to 0 0.1 s is equal to 0.5 meters so this integration will be 0 0.5 to s so now if we integrate this this will cancel out we will be left with s and that is 0 0.5 to s and now the integration of the right hand side will be minus 100 t squared divided by 2 plus 20 t and this is from 0 0.1 to t and now this 100 divided by 2 is 50 right so let's write it is 
um, this is minus 50 t square now put these limits we will have as minus 0 0.5 this is equal to minus 50 t square plus 20 t and then minus minus 50 into 0 0.1 square plus 20 into 0 0.1 and now we need to bring this minus 0 0.5 this constant to the other side of equation so it will become positive so let me write it on the other side so this is plus 0 0.5 so this s of t is minus 50 t square plus 20 t and now let's find this constant this is minus into minus 50 into 0 0.1 square plus 20 into 0 0.1 plus 0 0.5 this gives us minus 1 so we have minus 1 so this is s of t function for the second interval that is from 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 seconds now again it's a quadratic equation and the coefficient of t square is now negative so the curvature of the graph sh should uh, point out in the downward direction like this so it should be concave in the downward direction like this at t equals to t dash which is equal to 0.2 seconds s is equal to so this is minus 50 into 0 0.2 square plus 20 into 0 0.2 minus 1 so this gives us 1 meters so at t equals to 0 0.2 seconds the distance traveled is 1 meters and 1 meter is the distance between uh, both the plates right since the particle will reach the second plate so now this is s equals to 1 meter so at point two, uh, point 0.2 seconds the s value is 1 meter so we will have a point somewhere here and as i told you people that the graph should be the, the, the graph should be concave in the downward direction so we will have the curve like this so this is the uh, acceleration a a t graph and this is s t graph so this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning.